Hey everybody, this is Ori from Circuit, and I'm going to show you how to import sample data into WordPress. Okay, so in this case, I've set up uh, a sample website just to show you with the new installation for WordPress. Uh, basically, you log into the back end, you go to Tools and Import, and you're going to first click on WordPress. Okay, so if it's a new install, you're going to actually have to activate and install it, which is just one click away. I've already installed it. Uh, so you're, once you do so, you're going to get to this page right here. Um, basically, you're going to need to attach an XML file with sample data and move on to the next step. So how do you get to this sample data? So uh, what you can basically do is just go to Google, type in sample data, XML WordPress, go to the documentation uh, on the WordPress.org website, and you're going to find a link right here to actual XML file. So if you click on it, you'll be able to see the data itself. So what you're going to actually have to do is right click on it and save it. Okay? So let's save it to our desktop right now and click on save. Okay, great. Now we go back to the import and we're going to choose a file from our computer and look for the XML file, which is right here. And then we click on upload file. Okay? So now it's going to upload it and actually ask you for one more uh, piece of data uh, before you can actually uh, import everything, okay? So it's asking for all of the data under which user do you actually want to import the, the posts, the pages, etc. Um, so what we're going to actually do is, let's say, assign everything to the default right now, but depending on what kind of user admin or uh, post you have, you'll, be, you'll actually have to assign it uh, fitting to your site, okay? So either a new one or an existing user that is here, okay? And I also want to download all attachments if there are references in the XML and just click on submit. Okay, and then depending on the size of the file uh, and of course your server, it should take between a few seconds and, you know, more than that. Okay, so let's wait for it to actually uh, import everything and then we're going to go to the front end and again, this is a new installation so there's nothing there right now so we're going to have a clean website and then with the import data we'll be able to see all this sample data okay and I see here all is done thank you uh, and let's go to the front end let's refresh the website okay and now I have all of this data here all of these posts all of these categories and uh, archives etc um, that's it hope you enjoy this video